Hi, this is Taylor with Hacking Company at Remax River City. Welcome to Private Remarks, where we decode some of the highest demand questions on the internet, including this one. How long should you live in your house? Well, there's no general amount of years, but I can tell you on average for Canada, most people live in their house for about five years. But keep in mind, it's not every house for five years. It's like on an average for all the properties that they own, they would average it five years or even to make that number large enough where you have a sample size of Canadians, they would aver average on five years. But there's a whole bunch of reasons that people move that are outside of their control or that are like a secondary impact. Uh, where moving happens as a secondary impact rather like it could be a job transfer it could be in order to take a job opportun opportunity many of the people that we've been talking to during this pandemic have been talking about going home meaning that they're headed back to where there's more family support so those um, situations aside when everything's in your control how do you choose well, honestly, if you're in that age range where you're considering downsizing, it could be by measuring the amount of work you do to live where you live. If you are maintaining a yard more than you're using a yard, if you're cleaning a bathroom more than anyone is using a bathroom in your property, then maybe it's time to go. But many families or the most common movement is to upgrade because honestly, you buy into real estate and then most people will upgrade several times and eventually they will downsize. But most of the moves are upgrades. So in that situation, you really want to decide juice for squeeze. That's what we always get asked, like every hacking company teammate is asked, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor, how can you get me the best juice for squeeze on this purchase or this sale? So really what we've learned over the hundreds and hundreds of transactions that we've helped families do is that this, the kind of comfortable upgrade in this part of the world is about $100,000. Meaning that if you own a $400,000 house and you buy a $500,000 house, you likely won't feel like you missed out by going up to 600 and it should solve the majority of your needs. It's a good kind of incremental upgrade. Some people do it more, some people do it less, but when you go less, are you really going to satisfy the needs that you have? Because what most people are trying to change is their location, their characteristics, or their condition. So maybe just take a look at your own home right now and say, okay, if I was shopping again with the same amount of money as like maybe my tax assessment, not that that's accurate, but it might give you a ballpark. What would I buy now? Would I choose this location again? If this is a really prized location, but now you're working from home, you may not spend the money on location that you would spend on characteristics in order to have a larger property. That's actually the trend during the pandemic is people are going to lower value lo locations to get more characteristics. And so these are the things that you can take a look at your own property and say, okay, if I was trying to solve my current problems, would I do it with this property? Or maybe that's gonna lead me to say, okay, I should make a change. The other thing is, is if I were to sell this property, could I get enough money to do what I wanna do next? That's actually every seller's algorithm, is if I sell, will I get enough to fund whatever I wanna do next? If the market will bear that amount, well, they should definitely enter the market and go and chase those dreams. We can help you add perspective to this. You can call us directly at 780-909-6770. That's our fast agent hotline because we don't want to leave you waiting for a call back from someone else. And then you can talk to one of our teammates and ask questions like, hey, can you help us measure so that we can manage? That's really what we do for families and what we're inspired to do because we want to help you take on the biggest challenge in the business of being a family. And we've been doing it so much that we are number one on the ratings and review service, rankmyagent.com. Those are verified reviews there, and they're tied to actual MLS transactions. You should check that out. And if you're looking for more general information, then please find us on social media, wherever great social media is being made, we will be, and you can like and subscribe to know when we're going to be up next time. But if this information was valuable to you, but you kind of had someone else in mind, please just click share. Share this over to them. And it could be that uh, this has uh, this articulates the questions that they have in their own mind already. My name is Taylor. This is Hacking Company at Remax River City. Thanks for watching Remarkables. Cheers.